You know, just when you think that things couldn't possibly get any dumber, Disney Star Wars delivers. It's like the gift that keeps on giving, isn't it? If it's not Disney Lucasfilm employees making fun of fans, it's internal sabotage out of spite. And this last gem comes from the absolute failure brought to you by Kathleen Kennedy called The High Republic. You see, when Disney got their hands on Star Wars, they deleted the extended universe and all the stories that went along with it. And they've slowly been filling the void left behind with mediocre shows like Star Wars Resistance. But their crown jewel, their big initiative, was supposed to be The High Republic. And ever since the first promos for it were released, it was pretty much clear from the get-go that it was going to be a flop. And when it finally launched, no one cared. And I do mean no one. Nothing. Nada. Not even crickets. It was pronounced dead on arrival, as you can see by this flat line. And some of the excuses for its failure were that the wind had been taken out of its sails by the appearance of Luke Skywalker in The Mandalorian. But, nevertheless, they're going through with it, and they're continuing to announce new books. And because all the videos on the Star Wars YouTube channel are getting savagely ratioed partially as a response to the firing of Gina Carano, their latest reveal came via Instagram. It's going to be a story featuring one of the first characters used in the promotion for the High Republic, called Leox Jossi. And yes, his name is an anagram for Leo X is gay, because that's what you're looking for in Star Wars. But I digress. We're shown Leox's ship, a vessel called... Are you ready? Because this is such next-level writing, it's going to blow your mind. It's called The Vessel. Now what the heck, I'll laugh anyway. <laughs> By the way, I'd like to make one thing perfectly clear. I'm not making any of this up. This is official Lucasfilm material. And in a few moments you'll see why I'm telling you this, because what I'm about to show you is so mind-numbingly stupid that most sane people are going to think it's some kind of sketch or a joke. But I assure you, it's not. We're also introduced to The Vessel's crew. Co-piloted by Appy Hollow and navigated by Geod, who appears to be a rock. <laughs> Are you serious? The ship's navigator is a rock. It's a rock! Where's the pillow? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, despite almost hyperventilating from laughter. But the more I think about it, the more interested I am in what kind of character Geode is going to be. He'll probably be a very good Pazak player because he's constantly going to be stone-faced without showing any emotion. He could be very handy in a rocky situation. His favorite place to be is probably going to be the quarry. And his favorite music is going to be classical, of course. What did you think it was going to be? Rock? He also appears to have a rock-solid personality. Ironically, this character makes sense. If you take into consideration the kind of content that Kathleen Kennedy's Lucasfilm has been churning out. And considering the quality of that content, one-dimensional characters whose only character traits appear to be arbitrary checklist ticks are the new norm. So you can see how a slab of stone would fit into that pretty much perfectly. On a side note, if they had even an ounce of creativity, which we all know they don't, the character could have been a small stone that he carried around in his pocket, and when he gets into trouble, he hurls it at someone and yells, Go for the eyes! As for the original Instagram post, it got mocked into oblivion, so they took it down. And even if it turns out that this is some kind of a joke that they're trying to play, or they tried to spin it as such, it's 100% believable and consistent with the garbage they've been releasing. I mean, look at this, they couldn't even be bothered with the art. A fan rendition of this that was meant as a joke has more effort put into it. And considering the pathetic state of Star Wars, all of this leads me to one question. In some places, you can get fired for being late. In other places, you make one or two mistakes and you're gone. And at most jobs, if you make a very costly, very avoidable mistake, you will most certainly be let go. So how does Kathleen Kennedy still have a job after running the biggest movie franchise of all time, nose first in the ground? Let me know what you think about this whole mess in the comments, and I'll see you around. 
I wonder if someone on Twitter is going to have a hissy fit because someone misgendered The Rock.